Hello everyone and welcome to another Legacy video. I'm playing once again Initiated Dex. This is my third version. The uh, first version was a mono white. The second version was mono white but with Wasteland. And this third version is trying to splash for Fable, Blood Moon and Red Lamental Blast. Uh, splashing Blood Moon might look like weird, but uh, at the end of the day this deck doesn't really require that much white mana. Um, it's not really a turn one play because, well, you want to play a white card first. But then again, I'm trying new stuff, and uh, yeah, if you haven't seen this mechanic yet, I already released a video with it. It's a very powerful mechanic. The um, rest of the deck is a stompy deck, right? You have a Chromox Pet on Asian Tomb. I ran out of uh, Fright's tickets, so it's time to open some treasure chests. Yes, open one. Pretty bad. Yes, open one. Very bad, man. Imagine believing that you should open chests instead of sell them. But it is what it is. Ancient Gold Dragon. Is this expensive? Let's check it out. Nope. Totally free. Let's open one. Timeless Dragon. Man. I hope I have enough. I already wasted enough money opening this treasure chest. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Boris Initiative. Uh, why should you use Chrome Mox or Mox Diamond? Well, I think if you're playing 20 lands, you can never play Mox Diamond in your deck. So, yeah. I think you have to play like, what, 26 lands to play Mox Diamond. Uh, let's go. I think I'm playing against it. I'm playing against a friend of the channel here that uh, is a winner of uh, past, it was the winner of the past modern cha uh, legacy challenge with uh, this deck. All right, I think I'm going for Fable. Because if I play a creature deck, which is likely, I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to uh, play Solitude. Hello, PDH. That's what they do there. All right, this is a pretty bad Nombo. I think I'm actually getting rid of these two white cards. Unclear if I should have uh, such a big Nombo in my deck. Yep, I can pass. As I often mention, when these decks, when the Ancient Tomb decks draw Ancient Tomb, they are a machine. When they don't draw Ancient Tomb, they are a bicycle. Mr. Q, thank you so much for the Prime Sub. Welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, we drew Ancient Tomb, so we're now a machine. So turn three, so. We were on a bicycle for a few turns, and now we are. Yee, this is annoying. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I wish I went Spellbinder. It's okay. Hopefully I draw another Ancient Tomb next turn. Snapcaster Mage. That's a card of the past. No, they copied a bad one. They should have flashback splow. Ay ay ay. Yeah. I'm gonna pretend that they uh, flashback plow there. And I'll go for a seasoned engineer.
I should get a plateau. Hmm. That was better, maybe. All right, and pass. Efeno, thank you for the tier one sub. Oh, they still be initiated this way. Interesting. Interesting game. They get there's no cover. Play needs. And they attack me? Oh, because it's a human? Wizard. Alright. Hmm. Draw. Okay. I'll write in the channel, I pretend Reflection is dead and Plow is exiled and I have two extra life. Okay, because my opponent is a good friend of the channel, I don't wanna, like they just said they misclicked a random card, the card in the graveyard. Normally I wouldn't do this, but you know. So this Reflection actually isn't in play. Uh, let's begin by attacking, giving protection from creatures. Plow, very strong. Much better than Chalice of the Void once again. I take the initiative and I put two counters on the Dungeoneer on the Forge. A few cards in end. I'll go land, spellbinder. Snapcaster Mage now costs two more. This is kind of awkward now because Snapcaster Mage you can't flush back ending anymore. What can I say? Uh, I'll pass. I guess we can keep on pretending and they just go snapcaster ending for X. I don't know, we'll see. And one of the main reasons why paper magic is much better, because if you're <laughs> playing for fun, it's good that you can just go back. Anyway. Seasoned Engineer gives protection from creature to the Snuffcaster Mage. Revealing? Did I reveal another Engineer? I think so, yeah. I left it on top. Alright, they know I have Plowing End. Almost on two. <laughs> two more life. <laughs> Very hard to follow, I'm sorry, uh, viewers. Alright. Can I kill you though? Probably can. I mean, you have what? Two, two, four, six, seven mana. You can go four mana Snapcaster, three mana Prismatic Ending or Spellbinder. Yes, you can. All right. Wait, is that in hand? How did he get to hand? Oh, they just drew it. And they have another one on top. I see. They're dead, right? I think they're dead, right? Attack with this two. This one goes here. He has protection. So it's going to be 7, 9, plus 5, 6, 9, plus 5, 14. They can't block, they can't block, and we win with the under CT trap. All right, cool game. Cool stuff. I never believe we won because of the Ancient Doom. You can say this mechanic is broken, whatever. But without Ancient Doom, I would have lost this game. All right, GG. Now, I'll uh, bring in what? 
Lauren. Is this a strong legacy deck? I mean, maybe not this isn't necessarily, but like, it won a challenge. Uh, not this list, so you can copy the list that won the challenge. The Spellpierce played. My opponent just played Spellpierce, yeah. I don't think I want lower end. I'll uh, submit what I have. My Cybert is geared to beat combo decks right now. Or just blue decks. I mean, I put it does play blue deck a card, but I don't think I want Red Elemental Blast. Maybe I should. Red Elemental Blast over Season Pyro. Over, sorry, uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth. All right, let's go. The thing is that you cast a Plum Adventurer off a plateau, and then you get planes, and then you play Blood Moon. I think Force of Will is very good right now in Legacy, I think. With all these uh, initiative cards. Yeah. Mega Island, not Blood Moon, is pretty bad. Let's do this. Is there a world where I win? Unlikely. Unlikely, but I think we have to start uh, making making this game. Next, I can go this pre combat to make this unblockable. About four cards. They don't have force so full, thankfully. I get back the initiative. So they, this thing is unblockable, so they'll attack me. They'll take the initiative, then it's gonna be my turn. I play this thing, attack, this is unblockable, I take the initiative. And uh, my opponent played it first, so they're probably going to win, but we'll see. First of Will in the graveyard. Ooh, that's a great draw. That's an amazing draw. Solitude. Which is like Force of Will. So I take the initiative, I'll forge the Webtoon Adventurer. And I'll attack. We protect you from creatures. Explore. Fable of the Mirror Breaker in the graveyard. You pick six? You do? Very good. I guess I could have attacked first. Then I could have gone one chapter lower. Hmm. All right. I think I go Solitude now. They force my Solitude, Pitching Ponder, okay. Now they're gonna get protection from creatures. 
And I am dead. 7 più 5, 12. Okay. There was no way for me to win this game. Alright, GG. They have Laura to kill my Fable. GG, GG. Okay. Hmm. Uh, do I want to on the last to counter... To counter Force of Will. Hmm. Do I believe in Blood Moon? Hmm. Yeah, you can just... Yeah. I don't like those comments. Uh, let's just stick to this. I still don't believe in Red on the Blast. Maybe Spirit Labyrinth is bad though. But I do have... Probably Ponder and Brainstorm. Alright. Let's go. On the play. Uh, nah, this is not good. Alright, that's a keep. What do I watch on Thalia? Let's go land uh, Petal? No, land go. Yeah, I don't think my opponent plays a turn one Thalia. Yeah, maybe you should tuck out Thalia for a to Blast. Possible. Okay, let's go. Plateau. Nice. Plateau. At all. Adventurer. And I hope they don't have a force of will. But I probably do. Because, I mean, they kept their hand. Pitching Hydroblast. Okay. Makes sense. Ancient Tomb. Uh, if they go for the adventure, for the, uh, sorry, for the initiative, that's a pretty unbeatable hand. Ancient Tomb, Adventure, and Force of Will, I don't think it's beatable for my deck. It's your Ancient Tomb now. Ancient Tomb now. Play Spellbinder. All right. Three wars. Eh, uh, that's man, ancient tomb. All right, I don't want to solid shit that because I need to keep the dungeon here. I think they drew Marsh Flask this turn. I go to 13, then they attack me for 5 or 6. Next turn I'm already dead. Hmm. That force of will is not good. I wonder how many blue cards they play. Draw Chromox. Ay ay ay, I attack, I get the basic land, I play it. Yep, I'm dead. They don't have ability to go solitude. I guess I can go solitude. Hmm. Alright, maybe actually there is a chance here. They steal your uh, undercity, I get the land. Play it. Then I go Chromox, Pitch, Seasoned Engineer. Pass. I'll kill the Seasoned Engineer now. I'm alive. I think I'm alive. Hmm. 
the, the second season engineer, it's exiled off of the spellbinder, so cost six. The attack, I have to charm block. Uh yeah. Now I can prismatic ending my spellbinder. Then I have to scry to find what? Another solitude? Plow. Right to Emeria Hall. GG. Is there a prismatic ending for my Thalia? Mm, I guess I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. Not dead yet. Probably very dead, but not dead yet. I can play the engineer RNG. GG, GG, GG. My opponent uh, seemed to have a deck, an initiative deck ready for the mirror match. I think you have to play Plow and not Chalice because of the mirror match. But my opponent was also one next level with Force of Will. Hmm. Is that what you have to do is having Force of Will? What a game two and three? Yeah, I mean, why? Why not one? What about game one was also cool. So why they won? <laughs> no, like, <clears throat> like having plow it's necessary in the mirror, and uh, having force um, it's obviously just broken. I mean, force of will and legacy. So not playing force of will it's probably bad. But then if you play force, you have to have so many blue cards in your deck. Is there any Azorius cards that are that are playable? Is this game playable? Sure, let's keep it. It's not even a mirror match, but I mean, if your opponent plays a normal deck, it's okay. No, it's Vole. I don't want to explain how it works. Sorry. And check out the video though. You will. Uh, I will. Uh, Play initiative. It's too it's too it's too hard to explain. I think I'm gonna hold the plow here. Yeah, you have to play like ponder brainstorm, but I don't think those cards are good in a in a ancient tomb deck. I put it into reveal force, but I don't mind if they force this plow. In fact they don't. Just imagine if I had Chalice in hand now. I guess I could have gone Chalice on one. I don't know. I really am happy to not play Chalice anymore. I feel like now with the initiative mechanic, you definitely have to play four Delver and not one Delver or two Delvers. Or Ledger Shredder. I don't know. Not Shuffle. Okay. You think they have days? Probably. I'll go Thalia regardless here. So they have force in end. And they didn't shuffle. They pass because they can't attack through my Talia. Draw Mountain is really bad draw because that was the land I was going to fetch. I think the plow for. Uh, I mean, my starting it wasn't amazing. It didn't improve, unfortunately.
I'm gonna brainstorm. Mm-hmm. You have me for one, all good. Deck thinning. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen. You have six cards in the one, which is a force. Do you go for Merc Tide? You do. Should I go for Plow in the turn? I will. Put an S to play one mana force. No, they don't. They keep four for they keep force for the adventure, I guess. Madonna mia, ma che cazzo c'ho? I draw a relevant spell. Do 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 do. They don't shuffle. Hmm, that yeah. That's not bad. Solitude. I'll play CT because that's this helps me play around uh I'll go force now? No, nah, I'll wait. Sorry, go so I should not wait. Wait, I think it's better. I was I was hoping that we go like top three mana for an express iteration. And at that point, they 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 couldn't counter my so it's just because I cost one. Right, they shuffled this time. I'm gonna play solitude or I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait. I think it's an easy counter. And maybe my opponent taps out. I don't know. E però porca merda, ma che cazzo. Alright. We do play 30 lands, so. It happens. Ay, ay, ay. Murky boy. I think I do this end of turn, day force. And then I hope to top deck. And I can cast the card that I top deck. Yeah, that's my plan. So you go force, pitching, days. All right. Iteration, sure. All right, top the kino. Mm. Mamma mia, che vergogna. Che vergogna. Okay. I think I cut these four for this four. 
Um, no, actually, I was pushing grand because they need more good cards to play. I think Fable is that. Because otherwise you flood many games. Like, now they force my adventure. He's like, no, I should play Thalia first. M m maybe. Maybe I should play Thalia first. But it forced my adventure, and I want to have more more things to do. Too many lands? You think so? Hmm. Let's go Thalia. If I go Thalia first, they just they just ignore it. Also, I, mean, I know it's unlikely, but sometimes they don't have force. And you wish you played this, or you just draw more. Oh, Caracas. Wow. I'm holding the plow. Fragment of Blast. Should I go Thalia here? So what Thalia does is it stops uh, Caracas. I don't think they do much with Caracas anyway. Take one, go to 13. The ancient tube obviously, the more damage you take, the worse it gets. Um, I feel like I should plow. Because the more life I lose, the worse it gets, and I have random metal blast for Merc died. Ah. Wasteland. Okay, they passed. Draw. Adventure. No need to play that. That is correct. Again. Hmm. Should I go solid should pitch Italia? Yeah. Probably. Naishi Lopez. Thank you for the sub. I think I'll go for solid should pitch Italia here. Thank you, thank you for the prime. Bonus four cards. I do that in draw step so that if they want to counter, at least they don't surveil for the turn. It was aggressive, but like they didn't have a threat and they have right now the blast for Merc died. Nice. I'll play around days though. Easily a card I can have in hand and I don't have pressure so I can play around that. Plus, when I play around days, I also conveniently play around the uh, Force of Food as well. I don't want to counter ponder. What do we do for draw step? So if they force, at least they don't surveil. And I don't mind if they force that solid shit there. They ponder and then shuffled. And they play Merc Tide, which I'm going to attempt to counter. Leading up days. And they forced. Pitching days. Okay, very good. The one card in end, draw. Ben. I can go adventurer. Get basic land. Get basic mountain, doesn't matter. And then 
I'll go Solitude. Pitching Spirit. The one card, yeah, I hope they lose. I hope they lose now. What am I doing here? Scry to or put encounters? Put encounters is very bad against Bolt, which my opponent can easily have. I think I'm scrying. Okay, good cards. They don't have brainstorming yet. I think I'm gonna actually top both of these. Attack. Bolt, yep. Let's go adventure and get a basic planes. Oh, you have a count? Oh, you have nothing. Okay, I get a treasure. So there's a way. There's a world where you go to the arena. But I'd rather go to the stash, so that ne next turn I can make a four one. Okay. In the undercity, we're right now at the stash. Next turn, I'll go to the catacombs, which makes me a four one, which is. I think better than drawing a card. Okay, they have another Merc Tide. How big it is? 6-6, six, six, Steel Cattle. 6-6. Six, six. I make a Catacomb and they steal my initiative. I have a 3-1. I mean, maybe I could have just, should have just bottomed it. I don't know. Brace my response. Okay. Why didn't they brace it first? Could have made a bigger mark died. That's weird. Anyway, pass. I can find uh, with the last chapter of Solitude. That's my hope. Okay, tap me to eight. Well, I have four plow, four red elemental blast, four Solitude. Those are my answers to mark died. Definitely one of the decks that has more answers to. To Mark died in the format. I got eight, they take a basic land. Also shuffle away one card, which is relevant. They passed. You're up. Answer to Mark died, please. Nice man, go bravo, cazzo. I set up with my team. Get the get the last chapter on my under city and hope to find solitude. All right, so last chapter of this. I just find Thalia. <laughs> sure. All right, and it does nothing because they're Caracas. I guess this way I'll play around Force of Will. Alright, yeah, that's okay. I'm looking at the bright side here. Because they can't play Force of Will. Whereas if I plow this. Alright, I think I'm actually going for plow now so that they can't play Force of Will. Oh, no, actually, it's um, X proofed. I forgot about that. Alright, sure. I'll still go plow. Oh, wait, on top of every creature. I forgot about that. I'll plow. Cost two. Of Thalia. All right, very good. If I didn't draw this, I could have easily lost the game, but it didn't happen. So here we are. Chandler is a 1 1. Why is it text proof? It's part of the Undercity. So I have the initiative, so I restart the, uh, the chain now in my upkeep because I have the one who has the initiative. Get a lost land, draw a card. Okay, that's fine. Combat. 
Chuck with uh, all? No. Yeah. All. Because I can top all my creatures anyway. I guess I don't want to trade this. Because they might have like brainstorming end. Okay, yeah. Webtoon Adventure makes me untap all my creatures, so I don't have to be worried about that. And I guess they also bounce my Thalia, so... Replay Thalia and pass the turn to you. I have a combination of... Prison Elements and Pressure. Just go land go. Hmm. Now, should I go to the forge? Because the, going to the forge makes me go to the trap next turn to kill my opponent. Scrying 2 makes me just find answer. I think I want to go to the forge. You know, put two counters on this guy so I can attack with it. Draw. Attack with all. Remember, because of this, we have top all creatures. It's lethal, so I'd have to chum block. Mm -hmm. There are five, so they die in the upkeep next turn. All right, looks like, uh, you know, having a lot of answers might solve or at least help the blue red delver matchup. Because yesterday when I played Mono White, I actually died to Blue Red Delver threats. What are we doing here? Iteration? Okay, sure. Takes that brainstorm, which doesn't do anything because of the spirit. Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, you know what's a card I could have here? The Brothers Hood End. The Brothers, the Brothers Hood End. They could have that one. All right, you lose, you lose opponent. GG. Okay, good game. I'll uh, bathroom break, and then we return for round number. Oh wait, actually. Oh, MTG bot is wrong. I lost game one. All right, I'm sorry. MTG bot is um, not working properly right now. I wasn't game three. I was um, I was match two. All right, let's fix it with our own one. Sorry, sorry for that. More bathroom breaks. I have to win game three. Almost. Okay, that's a keep. I have one threat. I have one threat. I have fast mana. I have Red Metal Blast. That maybe my protect our seasoned engineer. Channeler, sure. Fable. Interesting. I'm gonna go fetch and go. Taking a sweet slow time here. Maybe we should take our Chrome Mox. The way I play in this matchup makes Chrome Mox pretty bad. Hmm, that's a lot of people. You have three cards. Hmm. Us again. That is a lot worse. Yeah, for sure. That is worse if I had three drops. 
Okay, the upper fit doesn't uh, doesn't work. Perfect. Let's see if the wasteland can just attack me. Mm hmm. Iteration. I'll counter. Wow. They they bought him brainstorm. Crazy. I wasteland. Yep. Draw. Okay. I think I'm gonna go City of Traders. Plateau. Chrome Mox. Pitch Webloom Adventure. And then I want to play Fable. Two cards in your hand. You go Force of Will. And you Scry also. Hmm. That's annoying. So we're to the graveyard though, so you might still not flip. You have zero cards now. If you don't flip, I'm in a good shape. Oh, you flipped with Lightning Bolt. Okay, so that's seven damage. I've got an eight. Draw. I think I have to play White Blue Adventure here. Sorry, I meant to see the solitude here. But actually, it will let you draw, so you don't surveil in upkeep. Because your day is good on you. And you bolt. I mean, I they were in top deck mode. I was hoping they didn't find bolt. All right, they didn't find the spell. They found the bolt, which is even better than a spell. I got a four, and they need to top deck removal spells now, in a row. Very good, very good, very good, Mango. Uh, they don't have days, or they would have played it last turn, so I guess we're playing um, Seasoned Engineer. Got a basic land. Then I'll also play a plow on the Delver. And we are stabilizing, hopefully. If it was a, I mean, he'd have to be plow, because if it was a, a, a red on the bus, this, this would have applied. But instead it doesn't fly. See what they do, I'm a four. They have two cards in it. One should be bad. One should be like a land. It's a Merktide Regent. Oh no. I need to top deck again, but this time I'm gonna scry first. There it is. Right on the blast. Man, the runs are insane here. Let's go. Hmm. Is Talia actually good? Next turn. Is that actually good? No, I think I need to just draw removal spells only. But yeah, playing 12 just makes this matchup so much more winnable than it could be. Should I attack? Hold on, let's begin by Killing Merc died. If I attack, I might find a land and play this. Good. Then I can. If I play this, I can go to the arena and force this to attack. If I break, though, I just die to Lightning Bolt. But I, I die to Lightning Bolt regardless, because Lightning Bolt is the fourth that I'm missing. So, yeah. Since I'm dead regardless to Lightning Bolt, I think I'm attacking here. 
Hoping to find a land. There it is. Very good. We'll play for the out. Very strong. Now, I'll play Adventurer and I'll go your Channeler. I think it's better to make it a treasure now. So I'll go to the arena. And I'll force uh, this Channeler to... Um, I think it's a fun screenshot to take. Caption something like the only arena I like to play. All right, and I pass. The only arena, the only magic arena I like to play. The under city. Okay, so this card has to attack now. I'm dead to a bolt, but that was happening regardless. They have an instant. I have to top deck like, another removal. A landing bolt and upkeep. Alright, I'm dead. GG. I think I played to my outs. Drew reasonably well, so I can't really complain. Opponent had a, a strong double draw with force and triple threat. It's okay, you take it. Their deck is obviously you know better, so they will win if we both have good draws. Good match, good match, good match. Alright, let's go. Opponent round number three, opponent has a Yorian. GL GL. My hand's good. I can cast turn one plow, turn two this, get a mountain. Keep. Let's begin. Back let's go. Hmm. I like solitude. Always nice. Shadow Port, Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, I'll plow that for sure. Once again, plow is amazing. That's what Venture and Game Mountain. Of course, I can port my to my city, but that's all right. No, they don't. I'll go forge. Drop. Uh, time for five. So this thing is untaps my opponent's stir. Uh, I can Caracas the Thalia, but I don't think I care. I'm just going Fable here. Fable on that on top there, what to adventure my opponent's turn. Plow my adventure. Hmm, okay. When you attack, I will chump a block. 
So I want to keep the uh, under city. They pass. Okay. Uh, I'll go for the trap. They tap. Should I plow the Thalia or should I just use Caracas? Probably just use Caracas. Uh, trap. Could have gone to the arena and then to the catacombs, but also drawing cards isn't bad. Alright, loot. Hmm, do I want to loot? My hand seems good enough. Yeah, mine is good enough. I'm not gonna loot. Just keeping it as it is. A lot of removal spells, so I need to keep the under city and do all the value. They pass, right? Flip fable, draw a card. Yep, have my land. You don't have my land. Hmm, I guess you have solitude in end. So since the opponent has a solid GD in hand, uh, what is the best way to win? Yes. I guess I can go a new fable. Pass. And the throw will play solitude. I will plow it. Keeping up uh, Caracas for Thalia. Recruiter, okay. That's so opportunistic. Yeah, now, uh, I mean, I love the last chapter, but I really want to exile Caldra complete from hand with Spellbinder. The other city is pretty strong. I mean, it's a strong mechanic, sure, but. No, I'm not sure if it's the best the best thing to do in Legacy. It's definitely a new thing, so it's cool. I have a Dungeoneer. So found a Solitude. Should I go for the Dungeoneer? Nah, I'll go for the Solitude. I can exile this. Draw. Mm, I'll get rid of Athalia for sure. And I guess also uh, a Miracle. Now let's attack. Want to spell binder the battle school? Alright, GG. Ah, the old versus new deck. The old Thalia deck versus the new Thalia deck. I guess Blood Moon is also bad. Um, yeah. Thalia pitches to Solitude. I think that's the tiebreaker there. Mulligan. Keep. Let's go. It's going to become an archetype. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can play. I mean, you honestly can play so many. You can play every every color. Wait, 
every color of ancient tomb you can play. I'll uh, draw a card. Chromox. I like it. Very strong. Let's grab a plateau, planes, chromox, pitching thalian, and then I'll uh, go for Lauren. Man, Lauren, what a card! I've had I Lauren a lot of Urza Saga and Ethan Vials in these two days. You got a cadre complete. Okay. Is this a party member? You wonder if it is, sir. No, it is not. We got a basic mountain. I'll attack. Uh, do I want to plow the... St Wait, what happened? Wait, it is a party member? Oh, it's a bug. Sorry, sorry, it's a bug. I wasn't meant to draw. You can ask for a refund. Good free free ten tickets from Wizard's pocket to my opponent pocket. Always a big fan to win rich players. Make sure to refund. Ask for a refund every time you encounter a bug. The refund form doesn't work anymore, opponent says. What? No way. All right, I guess the rich, the rich sealed their pocket so that magic players can't take any more tentics from them. Good strategy. Good strategy from wizards. It does different sight, but it works. Chat says it works from a different site. Can you link the site, uh, PDDH? It works as intended. I mean, if like 10 people are saying it's bugged, it's probably bugged. Sure, three seconds. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, I just drew an extra card. Obviously, hopefully, I mean, I don't think it matters. The, the board state is pretty one-sided, but... Thank you. Yeah. Save that to your... Um, save that to your link account. Yeah. I don't have to uh, request the reimbursement, but my opponent... My opponent, um, am I a football enjoyer? No, oh, I enjoy Magic the Gathering. I enjoy three things one is magic, one is food, and then there's another one. Where's the reimbursement link? Here it is, Granham. This is the link. See, look how lucky you got. You got paired against Mangu 
and you won 10 tickets. It's very lucky of you. All right, my hand is almost good. Unfortunately, in magic, almost, it's not good enough. So I'll come on again. Zero three starch, but you see it's zero three, but you know. You started zero three, but you got a refund, so that's that count. Do I bottom solitude here? Yes. Let's go. I play against the gate. Oh, let me let me update my record. I am one two now. Let's go, Kramox. Peach a miracle. Art Meza. Get a plateau. Petal Fable. Let's go. Fable one card in end. Where's the natural sentinel? Impressive. Ooh. Am I getting rid of the engineer? Nah, I think it's too good. Venturer. Get a land. That's why I love the fable. Just giving you. I don't know. Just giving you extra, extra good three drop. To play on turn one. On top. If you counter, don't worry. I'm not planning to. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate the sub. Welcome, welcome. One has three cards in hand. What do I do here? I think I have to go forge. I think I have to go forge uh, protecting this because if I draw land, I can make this protection from creatures. Land? Huh? Alright. Not the worst. I wonder now if I should go for a Dungeoneer or plow the Heritage Druid. Maybe plow the Yellows or Shepherd. Yeah, I think my opponent already had enough mana and just didn't have anything to do last turn. I think I'm plowing the Yellows or Shepherd, right? If I go dungeon here, it's just trap. I think I'll plow the shepherd and pass. On top of this guy. When is on 12, they go to 7 next turn. Let's see, 3. I die to natural order for sure. There's no way to play around it. Is containment priest in the cyber plays around that? Maybe that's a card I should have in my sideboard. Containment priest. Well part is that if they have mana they just make every of these a five five attack for twenty-five. 
with the shepherd ability. If they if you plow the heritage druid, I found that they already have enough mana to kill me with the natural order, right? Maybe they didn't have enough mana to kill me with the behemoth. Yeah, like the thing is that, okay, now I lose fine. But the thing is that if I plow the heritage druid, they just go land, activate this, attack you for 20. Maybe just a chum block and a win regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any cyber cards. Let's go. <clears throat> Two against elves. Let's go, I'm a believer. I don't want to turn one blood moon. I think with basic planes is the best. Now hoping my opponent doesn't have any any forests and loses. Like, don't don't go forest opponent. Now I rage now ride Dio Caro. And I have nothing. How many forests did I play? One, two, three? That's it. I will. I guess I'll play another one for 50 play points. This and more. Man, my leagues today are not going well. Round number five on the play. The Zan stings. The Zan stongs. Uh, allora, I'm bottoming this, <clears throat> yes, as I go turn one, ancient tomb, chromox, pitch spellbinder, play adventurer, get forced, play the engineer, win the game. Alright, GG. Forest Zenith, okay. Try it out more. Let's kill you fast here. Forge. Land Dungeoneer. Attack for five or six. Next turn, attack for a lot. Trap. You get a fifteen attack for six. 
Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Attack four. Five or six. Five. Okay. Easy game, easy life. I think that's another L, so I'm gonna submit what I have. Maybe a knee containment braced. And keep. Turn one, plow, turn two, uh, adventurer. All of this with having solitude backup. That's a keep. I wish reclaimer. I'll uh, kill that on sight. Whoa, never mind. Never mind, right? I have to go adventurer turn one. Pitching what though? I think solitude. Every other card is great. Red flames. Go. Freak more. Okay, opponent steals the initiative. <clears throat> Wonder if I should have just taken a slower approach here. Or even just pitch plow. Maybe. Forest. Fable. Not the worst. Keep going the engineer but I think I want to scry go I want to scry. Did they let a shriek maw? Yes, I was symbiote. Okay. This can get him a mm -mm. uh arena or stash. It's gonna be arena. Let's make the symbiote forced to attack next turn. Empty is not working right now, yeah. Fable. Do I want to attack? Yeah. No. No. Go. Because I can go at end of turn get a dry darbor. <clears throat> They get instead of yes, Gretel. Okay. They get progenitus. They get shepherd. Okay. Three cards. The symbiote has to attack. Because it's goaded. Bye bye, how do you tilt the worst? Zinis for a three. Alright, what you get? 
Grist. Ooh, we can sacrifice a symbiote now. Alright. The go did, did not succeed. You can kill the engineer. Alright. Okay. End of turn. I'll plow the fiend artisan. Untap. I think I want to draw a card to the archive. Alright. Fable chapter 2. I'll get rid of two lands. Now what? Uh, let's begin by attacking Grist. I don't want to play this pre-combat or there is a bug and I once again explore and I shouldn't. So I don't want to gain an unfair advantage because of a magical and bug. We have the combo, Spirit of the Iron Fable. It's a combo. I'm joking. Oh, your double block. All right, cool stuff. I'll kill everything right now. I'll go seasoned engineer. Should have gone pre combat though, because I could find solitude. Yeah, that was a mistake. But, like, I didn't want to get an unfair advantage, so. Whatever. Still winning, probably. All right, they concede 50 play points to us. Woo woo! Winner! 2 3. Amazing result. Amazing deck. Thank you for watching. See you next time.